In this video, we'll do a quick overview of how to use Eyelet. From installing the Chrome extension to building your first flow and tracking the performance, we'll cover everything you need to start using Eyelet. Let's get started. Hey, I'm Philip from Eyelet, the easiest way to create personalized in-app walkthroughs. The first thing you'll need to start using Eyelet is our Chrome extension. Download the extension from the Chrome Marketplace, log in, and you're ready to go. You'll find the extension by logging into your Eyelet account and opening the Chrome extension link. Once you have the Chrome extension installed, the next step is adding your project to the Eyelet dashboard. If you've done this already in the onboarding process, you can skip this step. If you want to change your project name or website or just add a new one, click on your current project name in the top left corner of your dashboard. Click on Add a new project, enter your project name and website URL, and you're ready to go. At this point, you can either add the Eyelet embed code to your website right now or build the guide. Test it via the extension, and once that's done, you can proceed with adding the code to your website. The next step is building your first flow. Using the editor, anyone in your team can create, design, and edit the walkthroughs. All you have to do is to choose the website element that you want to attach the annotation to and add your text and media. You can then proceed to save by clicking finish or add more tooltips by clicking the plus button. Step number four is customizing your walkthrough. Use the editor inside the Eyelet Builder to add your logo, images, buttons, and control how the in-app experience looks and feels like. You can add as many steps as you want and use all the tooltip styles so you can make your walkthrough look and feel like your own. You can also control how each step is completed and where it is positioned. Step number five is controlling when, how, and to whom the in-app experience is shown. Target user segments based on behavior, timing, and more. To do that, head back to the Eyelet dashboard, click on Edit Tour, and from here you can control the start logic, add segments, assign members of your team, change the design and fonts, and also adjust for the device's width. Now that we got targeting perfected, we can move on to the sixth and final step, which is publishing your tutorial and tracking its performance. Get a bird's eye view of the performance of your in-app experience, or you can go more granular, like looking at the number of guides started, completed, skipped, where users drop, and more. Go to the Eyelet dashboard, click on Product Tours, locate your walkthrough, and here you can see all the amount of walkthroughs started, skipped, and completed. You can adjust the time period from the bottom right corner. And that's it. You've created, edited, published, and monitored your first guide in six easy steps. If you encounter any issues at any steps of the way, do reach out to our support team and we'll be sure to help you out as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next one.